What is up guys, you said Squeeze Adventure here, back to another kill kill if related video, but before we begin, I gotta get out a shout out to the sponsor of this video, Ray Shot Crimson! But no, in all seeing this guys, welcome back. Well, I'm glad to be back for one. And so I come to give you all another kill cut if related video. Uh th this one in particular was back in the early well not early, but back in the like in December, but it was sometime late in the last days of the year. I decided to get a few more games and actually you can tell like my account name is different and I have to get PS Plus for free for those days only. So I've run into this one particular player multiple times, like uh, the J Experience, and most of the time I see him play as a Mako, if not a Ragyo or a Yamuda. So in this matchup in particular, um, let's just say he does this one move over and over again with the Ryuko. and it, yeah, it got a little bothered. It got bothersome. I started doing that to him like early, but it was just to keep Mako at bay. But this guy, he's just. Um, go ahead. He just he just does it throughout the whole matchup. So let's just say like I troll spin him just for him keep, just for him keep doing that. And I, I never troll spin that often when I play fighting games. Probably like when I play with a friend or two. But this one is just an exception because he actually thought he could beat me just by uh keep doing this, which he kind of did in one of the later matches. He's beaten me before. Um. If, in future matchups, but they won't be shown this video, so I'm just going to let you guys know that now. So, oh man, my mic got cut off there. Holy crap! <laughs> so once again, like you, like I said, it, this is all his his his, his go-to moves. Just do air charge five B. So what I do is like I freestyle on him. I literally just dodge his moves, and then just go, when I get a little closer, I hit him with the guard break. Since I can actually do that to stop him from uh, continuing on with the, with the combo, why? Why? I'm asking ask myself like, why is he doing this to himself? And I, I, also, I also ask myself like, how would I lose to this? I shouldn't lose to it. But with this, that that right there, that kind of had me tilted. I'm not gonna lie because I just sat there ask myself, okay. I'm not asking myself. I just said, okay. Not mad. It's, it's kill kill if. What do you expect? And this this still <laughs> this cracks me up because I just go ahead and just do, try to do the Ryuko copter and I basically just made him waste his meter. Again, that's pretty hilarious. So now this this is the last uh, straw. Like, cause really I just like okay I'm getting tired of this BS. This cause this this is all he's gonna do. So that yep that's when I troll spin him. And uh, I'm pretty sure he's, he got pissed or whatever how, however that works. But then at the same time, I got I said to myself, okay, I, I shouldn't play play around with this guy anymore. I gotta go ahead and end this, like right about now. And I wish I found a way to bait burst. Like, it's because like with Duel Rico, you have to really like time your, your uh, time your baiting when someone try to burst out of your combo. Because like as soon as this guy gets the meter, he just go ahead and wastes it. Now see, I regret doing that because like I would think that I would catch him from doing that just by using my raw super. Uh, unfortunately, as you already saw, that didn't go well. So I go ahead and the match. Didn't do nothing fancy. Just go ahead and just, just end it off right then and there. And one more troll spin. We got another matchup coming up. So stay tuned. Alright, so this is the matchup I had against this Inyamuda. Now, this Inyamuda in particular, like, yeah, I mentioned that he fights with this Inyamuda. If not, a Ragyo or a Mako or do a Ryuko. So, usually, I wouldn't expect back anyone to just start pressing buttons when I just do a home and dash so my game plan is to you know either zone him out or just deal the most damage as I can and prevent him from using his close range super because once that happens I, I'll literally get caught and lose my meter so I also gotta be careful when I try to do a combo because I, I don't want to do anything too fancy because like that right there he'll just burst out of it so what I try to do is basically see he's he's mainly running for me. So you notice I'm using dash B a lot. Well, I'm using it because he keeps running away from me. I mean, he, I, I can't really blame him because he's playing Emuda, and if I really touch the Emuda, he's basically dead. So by me using dash B, I'm literally just chasing him down so he'll he won't get the chance to do any type of counter attacking. 
So I go ahead and just end it with the, with, you know, just end it with the super so he won't burst away from it. Now this is where things get a little, yeah, zony. So I get caught by the clones and I, I'm just sitting here saying to myself, okay, what can I do in this situation? How I'm going to dip, how I'm going to just go around it. And the Ryuko Copter is what I call it, is one way of doing so, but I don't find out about that until like way later into the, uh, in this matchup against the senior Muda. So I go ahead, like basically, like I thought to, I thought to myself here, like, all right, what's the best way I could counter this? I, and so that's why I did the raw super. But then I do this. This was the biggest. Uh, I would say the biggest mistake. But then at the same time, it's like I shouldn't just. That's that should have just made me stop and think. Now, when it comes to valor bursting, like uh, I should say, bloody valors. I I don't know why, but usually when somebody does a valor burst to me, I usually call out what the person gonna do, but then my my silly self ends up choosing the opposite of what they get, so they end up getting the Valor Burst, or starts to get the benefit from Bloody Valor. So, he gets his Bloody Valor level 2. I wasn't gonna let him get level 3. And I was like, if I die here, cool. Because most of the things he does, like, any movie does that Valor 2, that's basically one of them. He just teleport from above in the air. Now, the only problem is that, uh, okay, he can just hit me for any time just, just when he gets out of invincibility. But the only way to stop that is what you just saw. Just dash dash at him. <laughs> so I go ahead and do the most damage as most I can. I, I should have used my meter right there if I could. But I, I called myself trying to save as much as I can. So like until I, I'm ready to finish him off. Like right now, this is basically how I'm going to kill Iyum his Iyumoto. But I went ahead and used my uh, close range super. Because I thought, you know, counter hit for free. But uh, um, it just did that instead. I'm just like, okay. Kill, kill, if I'm not gonna go complain, so I'm gonna chose pill one more time. Like, cause like, then he starts doing this. He starts doing this throughout the rest of the match. I just said, there's no way. Let me just go ahead and block and just get look, look, look at all that meter I gained. And yeah, that's also a problem because I'm gonna be stuck there. And that's that right there. That right there, honestly, was the best thing I ever done. <laughs> But anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this this post commentary of Kill Kill If, uh, be sure to leave a like and comment comment what you like about the the fight overall and, and how this matchup turned out. And this is Uzi's Chris Avenger, and don't lose your way. Peace.